Actinium-225, a radioisotope of actinium, has shown great promise in cancer treatments. It emits alpha radiation, a high-energy type of radiation that is powerful enough to break strands of DNA, but only travels a short distance. Alpha particles can destroy cancer cells with minimal effect on the healthy cells around them. Because it's shown success in treating cancer so far, Actinium-225 is in high demand. It's being tested in clinical trials for many kinds of cancer, including leukemia, prostate cancer, plasma cell myeloma, pancreatic cancer, skin cancers, colorectal cancer, gastric cancer, and bone cancer. But actinium-225 doesn't occur in nature. This radioisotope must be created by humans. It's in short supply, and it's difficult to make. For more than 25 years, dedicated professionals in ORNL's unique facilities have produced actinium-225 for the world. In fact, ORNL is the largest provider of actinium-225 in the Western Hemisphere. A lot of what national labs do is longer range or theoretical or applied that takes even longer to, to make an impact on society. The opportunity to influence and improve our health is obvious, it's immediate. Uh, it's exciting for our staff to have that opportunity to help solve something that many of us have experienced personally or known a loved one. If actinium-225 doesn't exist in nature, how do we get it? The decay chain actually starts with uranium-233, which decays to thorium-229. Thorium-229 is then isolated from uranium-233. Once separated, the thorium-229 decays to radium-225, which then decays to actinium-225. Actinium-225 can be purified and then used directly in cancer treatments. Or, its decay chain can be used to generate radioisotopes of bismuth for cancer treatments. Both actinium and bismuth emit radioactive alpha particles. ORNL obtains actinium-225 from a supply of thorium-229 kept at the lab. At ORNL, each thorium-229 supply is known as a thorium cow. A highly trained team milks these cows for the actinium-225 that forms when the thorium-229 decays. The history for actinium-225 has been uh, around for about 25 years plus. Um, the original idea for recovering actinium-225 uh, came from scientist Saad Mirzadeh, where he looked at a kind of byproduct of the uranium processing that we do here at Oak Ridge and found an additional use for medical applications. Actinium-225's decay period is short, making it ideal for medical applications. But thorium-229's decay period is thousands of years. ORNL's thorium cows could be producing medical isotopes for centuries. The journey to purify this essential radioisotope for safe use in the human body is complex. The process begins by isolating the thorium from its decay products, radium-225 and actinium-225. This is done in a specialized hot cell, an enclosed chamber fortified with concrete, steel, and glass to protect workers from harmful radiation. Technicians use remote-controlled robotic arms to skillfully move the solution through this process. Once actinium-225 and radium-225 are purified, the resulting solution is lower in radiation. At this point, it can be removed from the hot cell into a glove box. There, technicians separate actinium-225 from radium-225 using multiple column runs until only pure actinium-225 is left. The final product is analyzed and prepared for dispensing. So we have our thorium-229, uh, which we have in several different sources. And what we can do is stagger these um, and have different pots of material so that we can um, stagger them throughout the month and then milk off our radium and our actinium from it. 
uh, and this allows us to maximize the amount of radium and actinium that we're able to recover and then thus ultimately get out to the patient. The methods used to produce isotopes and the ways we use them in medicine have evolved with time, but most of the facilities where they're produced were built in the 1950s and 1960s. Despite using older, sometimes cramped facilities, highly trained and experienced technicians safely produce high quality medical isotopes. When I started as a technician, it took months and months of training before I was actually hands-on working in the glove box. It's a lot of purpose behind this job. If you really think about it, it it's helping people. It could potentially even help someone in my own family. It's just, uh, at the end of the day, it's just a very rewarding job. At ORNL, actinium-225 is produced using current good manufacturing processes, sometimes called CGMP. This standard provides systems that assure proper design, monitoring, and control of manufacturing processes and facilities. Safety precautions are crucial. Everyone handling these isotopes has extensive training and certifications. Radiation control technicians use specialized equipment to ensure radiation levels are safe at every step. When removing actinium-225 and waste from the glove box in special bags, disposing of waste, and packaging the actinium-225. This job is very rewarding. It hits home for me because I lost my mom to cancer. So every day I come in, I feel like I'm making a difference for someone else in the world. Right now, ORNL averages more than 10 actinium-225 shipments each week. These go to medical facilities and researchers around the world. Vials of actinium-225 are safely sealed in radiation shielding and put into certified packages for transport. The work we do here is challenging because it's a complex process and it takes many days and weeks to perform what we do, the, the production from start to end. It also is a challenge with coordination because we work, work with multiple groups, support groups such as transportation and shipping and um, waste coordination, um, quality control. Um, there's a lot of pieces and parts that, that come into play that everything has to line up right just to make sure that um, the product gets out the door. Studies have already shown cancer treatments using actinium-225 can make a significant difference and researchers continue to find potential medical uses for actinium-225, which means the demand for it will keep growing. Using national labs, including the one here at Oak Ridge, the DOE Isotope Program has been the world-leading supplier of actinium-225 for over a decade. We're excited to see how the research from the early days has translated to clinical trials that are underway today treating cancer patients, and more clinical trials are being added every year. Part of the role of DOE's mission is to forge the pathway for new and emerging isotopes until such point in time that industry can step in and provide routine commercial supply. We embrace that role and are looking forward to working with industry as together we supply the actinium that patients need. Meanwhile, researchers at ORNL continue to improve and refine the processes for producing actinium-225 and other medical isotopes. These isotopes can continue to improve the lives of patients and provide a beacon of hope around the world.